me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They asked me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. Yo, that's style of rap. That was hard. Yeah. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play. Yo. They was trying to emphasize their point. Some of them sleep in order to take back the neighborhood. Some of y'all don't want to hear that because you don't live in reality. But I'm telling you as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all of them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep. Fuck that! <laughs> Classic. Yo, oh. it's crazy. Welcome back to the Coach Class yeah. Pod, everybody, man. Like, rate, subscribe, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, man. We back with this 251. Episode back 251. In the thing. Episode Coach Class Pod. On a Coach Class Pod. As Mike said, yeah. please be sure to continue to like, rate, and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, leave the comments if you feel that we should be doing things a little differently. It's beautiful. We're never going to take it as disrespect. Yeah. And, and yo, one thing Zay mentioned last week, we appreciate the engagement in the comments. Um, shout out to bro that watched the uh, Jim Jones episode last week. You was right. We should have brought up JR Ryder. I don't know what we was thinking, but it was all off the cuff. But that's tough. He was tough. Writer's block. We know about that, dog. Coaches. Yeah, you know I mean, much appreciated, and everybody else with their opinions and everything. That's just that's what we doing it for. So thank y'all. Appreciate that, man. Other than uh, the guy that was going so hard for Russ Westbrook, you gotta calm down, brother. Like, Russ was wow. his favorite player. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. I used to get emotional like that about D Rose when he was damn. on the Bulls. Yeah, yo, we just two brothers talk about this shit. We don't even hoop. No, nah, you know I'm how like it is five, when you argue sports brothers. with some niggas. Some niggas really be ready to cry, yo. Like, <laughs> God damn. Like, it's all right, bro. It's cool, bro. <laughs> but we liked it. We didn't who? block you. We're never gonna block you as long as you ain't saying no wild, crazy shit or nothing like that. Nah, nobody. Nobody has. Nobody has. It's all been cool to see it kind of start matriculating in. You know, and I enjoy out. opposed opinions because that just means they engaged in like conversating with us. Yeah, I want you to I do like that. that. You're not gonna get us to change, but I want you to do that definitely. And um, you know, like we said, keep that engagement up. Make sure y'all um tell a friend, like I said, to tell a friend to tell a friend. That's the only way we get out there. And the like and subscribe and hitting that notification bell is the best way for us to do that, man. But yeah, we back again. We back in these seats again, man, for the, the yeah. 251. 251 of them designs. Uh, how did we want to do this? Because we do have something that we're trying to talk about in totality a little bit. Are, are we trying to do totality on this episode with the, the one subject that we... We're, We're just going on. in like how we always go in. Okay. Um, uh, this week, we definitely had a lot of good stuff coming out. Um, did y'all watch the new episode, latest episode of uh, Everybody on Abbott Elementary again? Nah, Absolutely. I, I feel like my, the tap in. My bad, yo. It's okay. What happened, just Mr. Johnson, ahead, my yo. favorite character. Yes. Go ahead with it. And I really, like, I really like, uh, I what always happened? forget his name. I'm not going to tell you because I want I want to talk about it all together. Because oh, hey, we we it's going to be another two. episode next week, so we'll yeah. talk about that one. So tell me what's going on. We, we, we've doubled up on. Yeah, yeah, we've doubled up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jacob is hilarious too. I appreciate that. And the acting is getting deep, bro. Like yeah. they be having like it's funny, it's awkward. Yeah, it's um, it's just captivating all around the show. But it, it yeah, I mean, keep, definitely tap into that episode. I think that's something all of us should watch before we talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Did I'm you watch Mandalorian episode uh, no, two? I didn't catch that either. Rich. I'm behind, yo. You know what happened to me? I fell behind because after I saw the Alex Murdoch thing doing doing pretty decent as far as on the page, I started watching that shit like yeah. Sports Center highlights. I was going back and just rewatching <laughs> it. Nah, and shout out to I, you, I good because I'll have more information now because I did watch the Murdoch uh, the uh, Murdoch murder. Um, a summer scandal. That's the, what it's uh, called. I'm, I didn't a know southern what it was scandal. I'm was. sorry, a southern scandal. We don't have to give the real name. No, it's, it's on Netflix. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Netflix. It's fire, bro. Just search Murdoch. You're going to find it. No, you had me enthralled. I was like, yo, this is real. It sounded like you was describing like a freaking Batman villain or something like that. And mm-hmm. I watched it. I was it's like, this is really wild. This That's was one of nuts. a lot of the stories that they, happened. No, it's really nuts. They, like, they, his, they had the type family like the grandson would call after somebody died in like a car accident. They would clean the whip out. Just yeah. leave the whip there, and they would never go to court. Yeah, I didn't before. watch any docs. Every other thing. adult is taught to call the police when something happens, like an yeah. accident or something like that. They call in their uncle. I knew they were savage when they <laughs> said that the grandfather son. or something like that. They gonna call him up, get the deets, and they gonna come and sweep it through. Yeah, sweep it out. You remember the girlfriend of the younger son said that when they got in a car accident, and I think one of them got hurt, and the the guy was wilding them and everything like that. The girl was scared, so she called the police. And they said the Murdoch son smashed the phone and threw it in the woods, yeah. yo. And was like, why'd you call you. the police and There's then so called his family? Man. I'm like, this is crazy. I didn't give. I just was they giving was a summary of it. But like I said, this week I've been just focusing on 
my man, uh, what was the um, the prosecutor name in the trial for Alex Murdoch? His name was uh, God damn it, uh, Creighton Creighton Waters. Creighton Waters been been he been eating this shit up, yo, because he killed him right. on the cross. The cross is like three four hours long. Damn it, I've watched okay. all of it. I've seen it all. You're really gonna be I've a, absorbed. You're gonna it be all, willingly man, a quarter pointed juror. Yo, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs> My brother gonna be in there like. No, the details aren't adding up, Your Honor. Nah, nah, nah. nah it's not well sounding right, man. stenographer at this point, yo. That yeah. might as well, yo. <laughs> the Damn. stenographer. The, the way he lawyer. was cooking him on the cross examination is is like a it's a masterpiece yo, of of lawyership, yo. Lawyers should be looking a at that. I don't even know if lawyership is a word. <laughs> it is a word now. Today it is, but y'all should definitely watch that because he is now he's reeling it in, reeling the dollars in. He said he put mm. his first tweet out in like five years. That should get numbers right now because mm. he went. He he went in on him. He went in on him like because he just was pointing in at all his lies and shit. They clearly got the clearly the cross is where the cross and the video where they found him down there when the situation happened, like maybe five minutes before the situation yeah, happened. It was nice. He tried to explain that away on the stand. It sounded crazy. And uh, but they're not they, gonna get that off. That's bro. how you know they was wild to that nigga Creighton <coughs> Waters, yo. For them to have that much money though, they was moving so slippery. Like, they'll literally have, like, a car with, like, a GPS locator on it and then tell the police they were somewhere else. I'm like, but yo, the moves, bro. your car tracks that. <laughs> they your were, phone tracks that, but my they dog. Were, like, they were clearly high moves, yo. That's why I'm happy they pointed out the fact he had that addiction. Yeah, the that opiates. Was, all of the moves that he made yeah, was, he was gone off made so oxys. much sense when I heard that he had an opioid addiction. Yo. Oh, man, Immediately, was, was I was on like, the Oxycontin ah, acting like Kingpin. Got it. Now I understand what the hell is going on with this crazy-ass man, but... Yeah. I didn't see any docs or anything like that, but I definitely uh, listened to a few more explanations and some things of it and, and some clips and stuff like that. And I was like, this is really wild. It's I was nuts. Like, I'm glad. It's nuts. He's off the street. Yeah, he had to yeah. be. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> and it's really nuts. Like, you, y'all should definitely watch like it. Like I said, I know, what I tell y'all yeah. on, the, on, the, on the group chat we had, he got like 100 pending charges still that yeah. he has to face. You gotta he, get these his son up. got something that he might have to face. He had a whole nother situation with the, the other dude. I think his name was Chris something. Yeah. I'm forgetting. Rest in peace to that guy. Um, he might have a whole trial yeah. with that. Yeah. So he and, might be and, going and to jail. And the oldest one is free. The goddamn oldest son might be in the jail with pops. The oldest one is free, chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Low key real, allegedly. A, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly came from a villainous <laughs> background, yo. <laughs> the Murdows, <laughs> yo, they murderous Murdows, yo. The murderous yeah. Murdows is hilarious. Murdows, Murdows Sorry, Murdows bro, is bro, that family been murdering for a long time. That's allegedly. why I told you they they so wild. He might be able to survive the cell block on his Batman. You think so? like, he's I six told four. You. He's six four now. Yo. Remember that movie? That. Remember that movie with Buddy that played in uh, Game of Thrones? God damn it, man. I'm forgetting his name right now. But anyway. The mountain? He, no, when he oh. went into jail and he, okay. he became like the leader of the, the Oh, white I don't side. know. You told me about it. I didn't see that. <laughs> we talked about it, I think, on here one time, though. But that's how you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take over that, that portion of the jail. They need to throw all of them at Arkham now. Yeah. <laughs> they definitely got to go, go link up with Batman, bro. <laughs> he might even be facing charges on the housekeeper. No, the, the thing that was so egregious with the housekeeper was, remember, they, they allegedly murked her. Then they said they was they was uh, going to accept responsibility for her mis her incidental death. Then the perked out dad stole the bread. They were supposed to give like the Picked family off. like bread for the for the whole. They he took like, that shit to the dollars, house, <laughs> like four million dollars. He blew that shit on perks, nigga. I was like, yo, this nigga is crazy. He was really on his crackhead Tyrone shit, yo. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this nigga bugged out. He was doing shit that didn't even make sense. I'm like, yo, these niggas be... It's high moves, bro. Yeah, like, you know I'm like, that, they be, they're, they're like... He wasn't even thinking anymore. He just was officials. doing the next move, yo. He was like, fuck it. I'm just going to go hard. Yeah. He was stealing people's all they bring. Not they just they were portion. attorneys, right? Yeah, so I've said that wrong. He wasn't the lead prosecutor. His, mm -hmm. his dad was. They okay. were, they were, And the whole family had led it through mm -hmm. up to him. And he, by the time he was about to take over as lead solicitor is what the, the term is, um, he already realized he had that drug problem. So he uh, didn't do it, but he worked on civil cases. Mm -hmm. I think he worked on like four or five criminal cases, he said, yeah. throughout his career. 
So he's only been working on civil cases. So he might not have that hard of a deal because he didn't put okay. a lot of people in jail himself. Okay. But his family did. Yeah. There's some niggas that's probably been in there for 15, 20 years and from his dad. Know, you never know whose family member they killed. That's what I'm saying. It might be somebody in there that'd be like, he's that was my cousin things Lil things Jimmy, about, bro. Man. I feel that I, I don't feel for him. He was he was crazy. He was no, nah, he was wild. wildin', bro. Villainous. Lessons to everybody who was affected by that, because that yeah, really is like, up it's unfortunate them. across the board. That's these are like the real like villains that they be creating movies and shows after, and then every now and then you get these in real life, and it's just like that's really really scary, nuts and scary. Yes, yo, people yeah. be having power and money and just be going off the hinges. Everybody not a good person, so that's you know, crazy. And another dial back too. We gem of the day. Everybody with, uh, not a good person. Yeah, well, we was we was kind of talking about with Ja Ja Morant again. We could we could talk. Of course, he didn't get he didn't get the um this is. The arrest, right? Charges, Charges glad, from the gun, glad, the gun good. joint that we brought up. Yeah. But the main thing I kind of want to bring up because we we've been joking on them hardcore, and the jokes have been rightfully so for me. Yeah, They've honestly, me too. I stand in the same position. They've been I was hilarious. Before. I'm not taking them back. The one part that I really hope that he can come back and dial in on is the shit with his daughter. Lock mm-hmm. in with your daughter, yo. That was when I started liking Ja Moore. You remember when he started oh, yeah, posting yeah, his yeah. daughter and shit? Mm-hmm. That's when I started dialing into this nigga way more. Go back to that. Yo, go back to that style and just take everybody else out of the, the picture and go back to daughter shit. Daughterhood was hard. Daughterhood with Ja is gonna be is gonna be tough for the rest of her life. You can show every single stage of her growing up. So even if she start playing sports, your sister your uh is that his sister that played mm-hmm. I think she hooped. Oh, oh yeah, 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 his sister can hoop like so clearly it's in the lineage, yo. Just play with your daughter and you make two hundred million. Stop playing in the streets. Uh, he he might need to stop listening to young boy, yo. <laughs> that might be a problem for him. everybody. Can't handle it when they're young listening to certain. Don't audience. internalize the young boy when Don't you listen. Don't yeah, yeah. internalize it. Stop internalizing the young boy. Listen to young boy yo. And then you, they, we got that because what happens is with that when you put this this front on, you have shit like what Skip did. Now he's putting this nigga oh, in the crips. Man. You're like, you don't, I told you. you know how many people yo, told y'all he was salivating. I you said, know how many people was yeah. I'm not gonna throw the hand sign up because it does have affiliations, but a lot of people throw that shit up when they they, they make the three in the NBA. It's a thing. Yo. Don't act Skip, like that nigga is affiliated with the Crips. How like does that. Skip even know to associate it with a certain gang? Yo. Because Skip is the feds. <laughs> He's Hell. the Federalis. Yo said the Federalis. <laughs> 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 Yo. This nigga Skip, man. I was so mad when he put the Crips on him like that. Yo. Like, yo, the Crips should jump that nigga for that. Yo. Like, I'm not gonna. I don't have no business with that. But that no. that's crazy. I knew it was gonna put him in the Crips I told like that. Y'all when, no, you when did. Sha- he was crazy. Because Shannon like Sharp was copping. Please for him at first. Like, it's all alleged. You know, if it, if he is around a bad crowd, he need to. You know, like technical. Like, I'm not trying to incriminate him. I'm just old trying uncle. To give him good, uh, old yeah, uncle good, advice. Yeah, yo, good advice. That's it. Oh, skip. <laughs> but it's multiple infractions. Yeah, man. I don't understand. I don't really like, know if he's affiliated. I'm like, he's is waiting it, until the evidence is it with the Is it with the Crips, Shannon? Is it the Crip? Like, yo, like, <laughs> stop trying to reaffirm your shit. Yo, that was wild. That you just talked to Officer Dan about just 15 minutes yo, ago before Mike you came on. I about it, uh, about Skip from, I guess, Friday's episode. Drop me a dime. piece of shit, that, new, that latest joint in the club with the, with the gun dropped Saturday yeah. and Skip was oh, seething for yeah. two days waiting for Monday. Mike said yeah. he was charging up. To put this- Dropping more dimes than John <laughs> was saying loading up. Yo, he was on his saying <laughs> shit he in the time dimes. chamber. Yo, every After every episode, just charging up. Yeah. Yo, with racing Maybe I could get him to drop a dime this week. Oh, man, man, fuck out of here, yo. You can't be putting the Crips on people that like crazy. that. Yo. That's wild, nigga. That is wild. But that's why I leaned on Josh. He should sue that nigga, yo. That I would sue that. Did he, did he say alleged? I would sue the shit but out that's of Skip why, right that's now. Why, that's asked why I'm so hard on What kind Josh? of bullshit is that? He but did. He did. He did. That's he slick. And that's why he saved this, himself. He this, He's but a that's piece the, of that's shit, That's the reason man. I'm so hard on Josh about this decision, because I know how you're going to be looked at for doing something like that. Especially being a black man in America. Like, don't think you're untouchable because of money. Like, please don't. Oh, they're going to make you seem like you're the worst person to ever live, bro. They'll love you when you're making money, bro. If you do something stupid, they'll drop you like a. What? I've seen it happen. Yo, look at Stacey Dash right now. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Sad, bro. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> That's just sad, bro. Like, you don't want to end up like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stacey Dash was in a classic film, Clueless. I fucked with that Clueless movie. Yeah. I did fuck with Clueless. She was in All Falls Down video, I mean, man. Classic, yo. Damn. Yeah. Come on. Damn. Yo. Was she in Tripping? Yeah. That sound right there. She was in a number of things was back she? in the day. 
I don't know whether she Yo, was tripping hold on. or not. I, I might have mixed tripping. it up. Hold on. Tripping. She was in one of the she was on one of all time classics. Honor up. Honor up. <laughs> Dame Dash, we need you on Coach Class Podcast. Absolutely. Up, <laughs> We're going to get We respect Dame. you, Chan. No, no. I'm putting it in the, in the atmosphere. Yeah. We respect you, Chan. We're getting Dame, yo. We having fun on here, One day we're going to yeah. talk to us. We have yeah. a lot of fun on this. And I've seen yeah. him on a lot of various platforms. Yeah. Higher and, level, and lower level. And you can co-direct something with my, with my guy at Press Zay, man. Pull up on him, man. <laughs> Zay, Zay Strodamus knows what's going we'll on. We'll soak the knowledge up, bro. Yeah. We don't yeah. got have no feeling Honor like up, too, be the best film of all time. Yeah, man. And Dame. We worrying about owners being own uh, being a part of ownership and business and, and yeah you know I mean doing things our way. So I know he respect that type of stuff. We gonna get Dame one day. That be dope. Book Dame, it, pull up. Yeah, pull man, up. Man. Legend. Salute the job, man. Hope you get better, bro. Absolutely. Um, and since we did so much um, praise to Jim Jones last week, I do want to give him a shout out on dropping this album. It don't gotta be a long conversation because I honestly didn't listen to it yet. But he has a project with him and um, Hitmaker. Called uh, Back in My Prime that just Hit dropped maker. on Friday, this past Friday. AKA so Young Bird, shout out. I heard, I heard Hit Boy shot at him. I watched two of the videos on YouTube. It sound good. I'm he on, he on, it, I feel like every song on this, he trying to be on his summer with Miami. You saw shit. Hit Boy sent a diss because it's like all kind of sing sing his tracks and stuff. What he did? You say y'all ain't see when Hit Maker? I mean, a uh, Hit Boy made a uh, diss record about kind of like all of the producers. He nah, threw, I didn't. He, a well, diss he been track on, he been he been feeling himself pretty hot because first of all, he is. I mean, he, he reinvented he brought Nas. Back Nas. And then he brought, <laughs> he brought Nas. He brought, he brought back Nas. Nas. Yo, Nas and Nas is rapping. That's rapping. when he did the it. four albums are all hard. And yeah. Nas is rapping, rapping. He got the yo. nip And they're coming out quick. Like, so I understand him big. feeling himself, man. yo. Hey. And he do all them beats, I think, himself. Hey. And yo, like, I like LA right and now, the pr- man. The thing people yeah, don't give Hit Boy credit for is also, like, he's worked with smaller artists. Like, him and Dom Kennedy, those half half a mil mixtapes that came out, like, in, like, between, I would say, 2015 to 18... Been putting in it words. was collab albums where he produced the whole thing. He was rapping. Him and Dom, him and Dom was on yes, some really one-two punch shit, and it, it was hard. And hip, hip, uh, hip boy, he got like a few bars. I don't know if he could do like two verses worth, but he he's got, nice. He got a good sixteen every time yeah. when he I come mean, out. He was giving yeah. it to him a little bit on this. Yeah. So he has. He said something about he gonna have to snatch the hit out his tagline, and it was it was all sorts of shit. I was like, oh shit, all right, Dang. hip boy, he Dang. got boy. I'm not I'm not for the uh, beef with any African American male, so. Yeah, you know I mean, I, over, I like, I respect both of y'all. All over rap. Please squash, don't squash do that. anything physical. I don't know exactly what he said, but he feeling himself. He, he in a good run. And a part of hip hop is uh, competition and talking a little smack. As long as I don't think he out here talking about you know laying folks down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got too much money. Both of them. Two against competition. Both of them got too much money. It's competition. And like I said, he a young. He, he feeling. He doing. He, oh, he killing it. Yeah. He kill, And I think he might be doing it. Oh, somebody. He he's doing an album with. That's hard. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up so I won't be wrong. But yeah, he's on. He on it right now. Yeah. When you got that producer run, we've seen these with other producers. Like, you feel good, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you helping. You either bringing out new artists or you're reviving other artists. When you when you when you in your great producer bag, like, yo, and it's a good feeling. There's a key example to that recently too. Yo. Still in the L.A. vein, yo. Salute to G. Perico. Yeah. And that boy. Gangsta Grills that he just came out with. G. Perico dropped that Gangsta Grills. Oh yes, God, Lord. Is what is that? It's called Hot Shot Gangsta Grills. Yeah. Yo, everything, for me, the, the whole joint slap in general, but it's it's a, a specific song where he start turning up, though, the, and the shit don't turn I knew it was going to slap, because whenever his sample on, super yo. on point, it yeah. gets crazy. Like, what that first song, he got a crazy sample. Yeah. Oh, it's called German Engineering. At, oh, every From German Engineering, fire. now he just went crazy. He like, went crazy on the whole thing, though. Yo. That's what I'm saying. The whole thing is hard, but for me, German engineering held a special place. I don't know why. I've never drove in German engineering, but I respect it. Um, and I like to, <laughs> I'm going to have it as like, I'm going to either have it during like the, when everybody is just dancing at the reception type thing, mm-hmm. or potentially as the walkout song. But sturdy. I'm definitely using mind, body, soul. Yo. Ultra sturdy. Mind, body, soul is being used. The yo. sturdiest <laughs> that song is crazy. Extra sturdy. Yeah, wild sturdy. With a dad, but more sturdy. <laughs> so I gotta sturdy. keep that. I have to use that. Some of the lyrics, I'm gonna find the edited version. I'm not gonna use the real version because it's kind of wild, but. I'm definitely going to use that in the wedding. Mind body yeah. show is hilarious. So as Real? a as a as a as a street nigga talking about, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta listen to the song, man. Joe, shout out G Perico, man. You God a legend, damn it, bro. bro! Like that, bro. He's been going for a minute. Yeah, he yo. That, the thing I respect about him is he put his foot on the gas. I remember a when, minute ago uh, when that Basic Instinct dropped, and this when Nip was uh, scalding, like right before Victory Lap, like it was like. Uh, 
right after mailbox money. Mm. And um, he had that joint where he jumped on it. He was like, late night, niggas, out on 109th D. Yeah, day. you always like quoting that joint. Bitch tripping because I'm always in the streets. <laughs> back of money in the beam on the back straight. I'm like, yo, this is fire, nah, this dog. joint, This Gangsta Girls impressed me. Yo. I'm hyped for him. I hope this gives him a little bit of notoriety. He starts getting something to start reeling in these, these folks. Yo. Yeah, no, he's getting money, bro. He got, a, he got a clothing so line. I think he got a boxing gym out there. I want one of the songs he said, every big bag, I buy something on the block. Yo, he buys a business. Yo. I like it. I like it. G Perico, we need you on Coach Class Podcast, sir. I like it, bro. I like it, man. Oh, real quick on the Hit Boy joint. So I just want to do a little quick look uh, research real fast. So apparently, I don't want to promote stuff, so I'm not going to name all the producers he got at. Yeah. But um, apparently, uh, Hitmaker wound up saying he got more... Uh, Radio play than him, so then he went in and he basically named a, a bunch of other um, guys and was like, "Y'all basically should be co- get co-producer credits because I'm really a one man yeah. show with it. Like I do the whole joint, which I respect." And then he lot. like produced like niggas in Paris or something like that. Was that him? Yeah, I think he, he I did think, one of the I joints. Think it was he did. I, did I think he did. A, I can't remember what it is, but he did so some one of the, the real joints. deep uh, hip hop heads. I, I'm like. I know he that, did something that album, on that uh, that Magna album. Carta joint. Oh, he definitely not was on Magna that. Carta. Um, uh, you talking about? Um, I don't know, um, not Watch Magna the Carta. You right? Watch, Watch the throne. throne. Watch, Watch the throne. throne. My, my fuck. My, my fuck. My fuck. That is hit boy. You know uh, the rap. The rap rap niggas about to be like. <laughs> 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 he did do that song, yo. Yeah, it got him, Kanye as, as well. Mike Dean, of course. Mike Dean works for like the engineering and the sound and all of that. Another person. So yeah, yeah. That's how and salute the blast too. That little EP, man. I fuck oh, with it. oh yeah. You know, blast is, yeah, yeah. And uh, with the hit boy shit, since we already named him a lot, uh, I forgot him and Music Soul Child dropped the project. Oh yeah, what? it was an EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's like eight tracks. I gotta listen to that. Um, I haven't listened yet, but I'm gonna get is it. Is it in. music or is it one of his personalities? No, it's Soul Child. Oh yeah, the uh, the, what is it? It was other the Purple joint, the, Eater uh, Love Maker or some shit no, like no, that. No, no, no. It was um, like the Hustle. The Hustle. Man. Is that his name? <laughs> He got alter egos, yo. I hope he, I, co- I hope he can hit us on that shit. Like when, remember he popped back out in like '09 to like '11 when that with that. You're my yeah, he was lady, mm. my lover, mm. my lady. Kia, Mike. Nigga, I was like, yo, this is a beautiful song, yo. That was when we used to be at Echo Lounge often. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't even know the name what of that the place name anymore. Now? Yeah, I was about to that say name, the name of that business Lounge. has changed fifty-seven it times has. since then. Yo. That's all the really spots has. in Baltimore. Yeah. Well, a lot of the spots. on Liberty Road spots, specifically. Yeah. A lot of the spots. Not every, we still got a few spots that won't that, that stand strong. <laughs> yo, we <laughs> yo. you got to rebrand when a few things start shaking. Man, in some I used of these to be spots, smacked yo. in there. No, nah, that spot was 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 popping. Like niggas was getting that car towed because it was the parking lot was so tiny. And it was too many people trying to attend, bro. We had to park time. across the street. You had to imagine crossing uh, Liberty Road, cooked, bro. leaving the bar. That is dangerous no. as hell. Yeah. That's how the dragon be if you come after a certain time, yo. It's like, yeah. yo, you gotta hope you get a, a park on the side. Yo, the dragon. Yo. I ain't been to the dragon. No disrespect in a to the dragon, but I hate the dragon just because the parking lot too sketchy. <laughs> yeah. That's the ultimate place to I get always, clapped. I don't like it. I yo. always park across Nigga, the street. Nigga, dark ass I back was, alley. I, park the, <laughs> I park on the street somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yo. I yeah, never no, park no, in the street. Dark back alley in the cut. Like it's only been a few times. Can't see nothing. Limited visibility. It's only a few times. Then the little shopping center is dark as shit over there too. I'm like, yeah. If I know I'm this the run down spot. It's too many angles a nigga could run down. You never pull in. You always back. If you, you have to back in. Lot, yo. You have to back you in. You have to back in, yo. You be leaving the dragon walking around. Yo, yo. Swivel. And swivel. Head on the swivel, points, hands yo. in your pocket, not looking at your phone. The get to the whip. Get out of there. You never leave uh, uh, when it's closing. Nah. Mm-hmm. A lot of spots, mm-hmm. me and my homies will, will leave when it's, um, we'll close it out for real. Like yeah. That's the spot. Nah, we out of there. Yo. Yeah. About 30 I haven't been before. in so long, though. It's been a while. Nah, I been I haven't been in probably six years. I can't say. Maybe y'all got it. Nah, the parking lot not going to change. The parking lot is I love them getting money, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm cognizant of my surroundings as well. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's just how I move. When niggas try to question me for that, I question you, honestly. No disrespect. All disrespect. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so, so, I saw your boy, um, they had the Punisher joint. Did they have like a release as far as like a, um, a trailer for it or something? The what, Born Daredevil? Again? Never. What is it, Born Again? So they're going to reintroduce uh, Daredevil to the... Um MCU from based on the show it's the same Matt Murdock mm. but I think they're gonna make him more mighty because you gotta remember like 
He used to be hanging with Spider Man in the comic books, and it's like if you gonna hang with this Marvel, you better be strong as shit, yo. Yeah. But they alluded to it, it, it in um, the Spider Man joint. So yeah. I saw, of course, your boy Barenthal gonna be back as Punisher yeah. in this shit. He's supposed to be in this. What is this a movie or is this a series? I think it's a series. Okay, he's supposed to be in this shit as Punisher. Yeah, your boy. Uh, what's I his love name? that. Barenthal is that his name? Remember Barenthal? the one scene, Barenthal? yo, when he went through the the cell block uh, with the shiv, yo, as the Punisher, yeah, yo. He saying. killed about forty six niggas. They in were the showing cell block. that scene when he was like, he was about to get locked up, yo. He said, "I am the Punisher." Yeah, like the nigga was losing you his remember mind, yo. Obama go off, he just like, <laughs> 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 get out there, start clapping shit. Because I remember it was a big argument. We was like, yo, could the Punisher fuck with John Wick? Oh, I'm like, yeah, 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 but yeah. nah, after John Wick too, nobody fucking with him. But <laughs> but the Punisher could be his right hand man. You feel me? <laughs> like so we we giving you respect but you're not quite on that John Wick level though. Yeah, I'm hyped to see what they do with this show cuz the Marvel shit we was talking about your boy Jonathan Majors. We might as well Shout out Jonathan Majors, bit, bro. bro. You smoking everything, dog. Every role that he's oh, he's smoking. Every single role that you've been in, I've been proud of you. Yeah. And I've heard that you might be Dennis Rodman. You heard yeah. that? That was a legit joint that's supposed to be happening. I don't know what that's going to be. But he might be that shit. Yeah. Um I didn't see the war joint where he's the pilot. I, didn't I still see that have to either. see that. That's the only one I haven't seen. So but I'm hyped to see. It's a great story. He did a great performance in it, and it's a it's a really great story. Yeah. from a real person, like and it, y'all, we we all gonna tap in at some point because that joint is from what yeah. I'm hearing. That joint is amazing. And it's, right now, this guy's movie catalog is out of control. You gotta think. The first time I saw Jonathan Majors was on Lovecraft Country, right? Then the next time I saw him was on The Five Bloods. And it didn't just escalate it quickly. And he just be cooking everything, yo. Because they was like, yo, he's, you, he went crazy in the five bloods. Yo, you remember what so the scene when Delroy Lindo guys. pulled him off the landmine yeah, and the talked land him through it? Bro. Stay calm, son. Intense, bro. Don't move. Woo. Intense. Bro. Delroy's PTSD in that movie was, he should have won an Oscar for that shit, yo. Devotion is the movie we was talking about as far as, you know, um, the war movie or whatever. Okay, yeah, Devotion. Yeah, Shout out that too. Jonathan Majors, just, get your bag. And Keep look running up, it and up, Trent. And look up the man he played... Um, uh, I think his name is Jesse Brown, if I'm not mistaken. I don't want to get it wrong, but like, just definitely tap in, yo. I heard the story is fantastic, but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But but yeah, like he's like that landmine scene. That whole movie was was emotional, bro. It, it had, I cried watching that scene. I'm glad I watched it the day before before I went to my parents' house because like I that shit got me emotional. You gotta remember too. Also, um, Chad had Chadwick Boseman had passed around the same time. That was sad, bro. It was crazy. They had Del Will. They had and they worked them in it. there well. I, re- yeah. I respected how they even And had he was the hero there. of the film, yeah, low-key. Yeah. They was all doing it for him. Yeah, that was the whole yeah. reason they went like, back. Nah, bro went out like a, like a real soldier. I'm gonna watch it again, yo, because I haven't seen it. Uh, it's been it's a while, really yo. good, bro. I gotta catch my scene when he grooving. I've seen it at least five times. Dancing? When he grooving through yeah. the, the they, soul train Yeah, my man said, in the party. <laughs> What's crazy is, did y'all see... Uh, I forgot what movie it is. He does this exact same dance in another movie. Yo. Oh, for real? Yeah, because it's that's the old it. Uncle Hands. Yo, that's a dance, bro. The old Uncle the Hands. Leave the Uncle Marvin, man. That's yeah. where we Uncle saw Marvin it first. Was the first one that put us. That's the first time I saw it. Hands. Oh yeah, you got it. Come through the spot, real sturdy. Are y'all saying all hands spread out? He invented the dancing. Billy Rock. Is that what we're saying? Nah, 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 okay. nah. He was sturdy. I'm trying to. I'm trying. He was sturdy because even 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 old homeboys that was around, he was like, yeah, yo, I. We used to call a dance move the Uncle Marvin, yo. Yeah. You remember when we well, used to Uncle hate Marvin it. and Adele Wayland, did they inspire the Millie Rock potential? I don't know. I don't know. They, he could have seen like something from his uncle yeah, and adapted it. Because how he had his he hands, yo. I seen a lot of uncles had their hands like that, yeah. yo. And the sturdiness was in. old school, for real. Like, it was very sturdy. Yeah, man. Yo, the Millie Rock, yo, Zay, you brought that up, yo. Two Millie is legendary. For legendary. That, yo. I keep telling Where's you. Shout out to Millie, yo. Like, yo, we need you on Coach Class Pod to discuss that, yo. Like, that's crazy. A bro. lot of great dances have been created. Yo. But the, literally, that might be the greatest dance ever. It can go yeah. to any song, mm-hmm. any speed. You just got to catch the beat correctly. Yes. It's an amazing And it's simple. Yeah. I simple, watch people, very simple. Millie, simple, you're not going to tell nothing doing that. Yeah, I watch exactly. people you're Millie not. Rock to an Adele song. <laughs> you're not, yo. Yo, yo. Crazy, bro. But no. Nah. Real, real, real quick, quick question. I did see that What's, guy Millie Rock into the Adele song. Yeah. Any song. Yeah. I'm Trust like, me. I had to prove it to Ashley. She was like, mm. and then after a while, she'd be like, yeah. she, I just do it to random songs. My man hit the cut the music like, so on and started Millie Rock. <laughs> Slow time. it down. You can speed it up. You can do whatever you want to do uh-huh. with that thing. Remix now, it. Real quick, real quick. We ain't got to stay on too long, but. No, no, let's go. Was, uh, was Lean Back. It's a great song. Was it the most overrated dance in history? Yes, that shit was trash to me. I'm not gonna lie. I respect all of them, but I hated that song even when I really? was young. I you remember I used to slander Lean Back. I hated Lean Back. Ooh, wow. Did you? 
Yeah, I did I not hate like the that. song. I didn't hate it. The dance was, you know. Now I was one of the people. A lot of people hate. At least it was a safe all respect dance, to so. everybody that was on it, though. I don't want nobody to try to kill me, but like you know, nah. Those are all business people and working. Yeah, yeah I don't like that, that song yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, that was not my thing, yo. And that's why I'm not a fan when people. Honestly, I like, fuck with that Remy Ma shit. That first real big single more than that, yo. Which one was that? Uh, Dang, uh, I said I look too good, good to be yeah, blind. Yeah, yeah. I said I look too. That joint was the I'm conceited. conceited. I got a reason. The uh, only thing is back then, yo, it was so misogynistic. You couldn't be pulling up to school with this with the Walkman yeah, bumping the Remy Ma. Catch <laughs> conceited, yo. That was not allowed. You gonna catch nah, up? Nah, you know it was do, the joint. Do, 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 do. The ultimate joint from back then was uh, "Let Me Take You Home." Yes. Uh, uh, yo. We had a lot of great that, that music, was yo. That crazy, yo. That Let Me Take You Home is crazy. Crazy, yo. You can play yeah. that at any point, any time. I forgot about that song, I'm going to be honest It's one you. of them joints that if yeah, you throw that, it I on forgot. at a kickback or a little joint you having or something like that, it's it's well beloved, but people don't play it often. Where every time it come on, everybody go, oh, mm-hmm. this it go shit. crazy, yo. Yeah, yo. Task Squad was, had, they had a, I mean, Fat Joe and them people, they had a run. Nah, they yeah. definitely had a run. They was, they was cooking shit. They was like right underneath like G-Unit when G-Unit yeah, was yeah, G-Unit. Yeah, yeah, they was, they was going crazy. And Dipset, when Dipset was Dipset. Yeah, that was a crazy time. New York was going crazy. Yeah. New York was going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot. Because uh, that, uh, uh. And it still was like towards the, I, I guess you would say towards the tail end of um De- uh, Murder, Inc. Yeah. They was and going crazy. Yo. No, another thing that I, that I felt like we had to mention since we started talking about middle school music, yo. We might have had one of the most rich music, like middle school music experiences, because I forgot Usher Confessions came out too. Yeah. When that, when that, that might be arguably like one of the greatest R and B albums. It is. Ever. That's not even arguably. Yeah, like. Yo, it went down. Superstar, bro, bro came <laughs> out when we were in like seventh grade, along with like College Dropout, along with Purple Haze, along with a laundry list of other stuff. Maybe I think even Mob Deep dropped something like back. No, nah, that might have been ninth grade. The Black Album was out. Album uh, was Get Richard Die Trying had came out, and then two years later, uh, uh, um, the Massacre had came yeah. out, and, and and late register. Like it was a crazy run, yo. Yeah. What was that? Mob Jeezy Deep? had came out. Jeezy did. And Ti, it was yeah. crazy, yo. Then Wayne, I think the Carter Two was. It was a wild time. Yeah. And Gucci dropped. Uh, I think back to the, the, the with the So Icy album. The album with I'm So Icy. No, we was. Cause he went missing was that for high like was that no nah, that was that was seventh grade. Might have been then he went missing grade. for like two years. Then Ice Attack One came out, and then you know, Ice Attack Two came out, and then it, I was just like you mean the you took Chamberlains a, you took a and all that. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I, allegedly, allegedly, we love Gucci man. We need you on Coach Class Podcast, sir. But yeah, that was we had a special time in music. It was a great time, yo. But then it got ultra. Like, can we be honest? Like, we got in ninth and tenth grade. The stuff that was popular, it was trash. No, they, that's when they were saying hip hop was dead. Remember? It was trash. Because remember, bro. no disrespect, but what was the what was the when, group? Uh, party like Gucci a rock. Song. I don't know nobody uh, standing for remember, DJ Unk no the more. The Shop Boys. I said, that's, dude, that's, I when you wild out, it was a wild the stanky leg. Chill out, yo. This was the year dude, that I graduated. Leg. A lot of this shit that's was the year that was no people thought hip hop was going trash. They thought it was going trash. It was wild. The only gimmicky ones I did fuck with was them franchise boys because they. They had that one song, them four fives, choppers, yeah. and nines, yo. This, and crime up. This the snap crime ever had came tough. out that time. And we're not gonna poop on it because it was yeah, it we was can't, a way. It, it was, was a some way, hard it was way but people too. was getting nervous, yo. But then Wayne came out with, yeah, I mean, uh the Carter Three, and it started the restoration, and then Kanye came, it, you know what I mean. And then Drake came out and the rest is history, and then Kendrick and all you know how it go. But yeah, it was like a year and a half window when people was nervous, yo. Yeah. <laughs> it was no, really it was it was really bad. <laughs> Cause like Soldier Boy was like the main guy yeah, too back yeah. then, and we were like, wait, big Gucci what's going Soldier, on? and then talk that's, bad what, I was, about and that's what I was talking about. Like when uh, when I said alluded to, it was a time when Jimmy and them was getting overlooked. Like niggas wasn't listening to Harlem Diary of the Summer back then; they was listening to DJ Unk. Now nah, people was listening to that and joint. and it was like, like trash. Joint. Like bro, it, not oh, my bad. It's not trash. Not trash. Man. Just music I don't like particularly. I mean, he wasn't in the club doing get busy. Yeah, that yeah, wasn't like a thing. The at fashion least, was terrible. At least where we was from, that wasn't like busy. a. It was like kind of. A, it was kind of liked, but it wasn't like bling, a thing. Like I was bling, like, bling, hold on bling, one sec. 